everybody can play her very well, from my experience. Mm -hmm. she's, she's a difficult character to kind of handle. Okay. We got Darcy. Darcy is, is one of the newest characters in the game. Probably the second newest. Um, Hayate is the newest, I believe. Okay. Darcy's pretty OP, mage, but in this particular case, look like they're using him to jungle, which is also quite common. His skills, especially later in the game, are very, very powerful. Mm -hmm. um, Berserker going with Annette. Oh, maybe not, going with Killin. Hmm. Killin's often being banned as well. Usually you'd see um, Sephira, Elsu, Florentino, and Killin being banned. Okay. Huh, they're not going for killing. Hmm. They're probably not going for killing before because the other side already shows a jungler, so they would not have to worry about the other side picking him. Okay. If the other side did not pick a jungler first, they would probably have gone for him. Okay. Richter and Telanas. Telanas is probably one of the most popular carries since Elsa is usually banned. Okay. Richter's a pretty powerful fighter, usually he goes off lane. Alice. Okay. Interesting choice. She's been nerfed in the last couple of seasons. Okay. So she used to be really OP, used to be very common, but we don't see her much in rank anymore. Mm. Waiting for Tent to make his pick. Teams are probably communicating, trying to figure out what players would be good to counter the other two. Yeah. Darcy is um, is can be difficult to use to flank. Now they're probably trying to work out who they should pick to flank Telanos. Okay, Irie, exactly. That's a flank character okay. that can go off lane. So she can go in behind real quick and take out Telanos okay. and get out of the fight real quick. Bowden's a good one as well. His ultimate can stop range players. If he puts it right, it's a circle that kind of basically puts them on the ground for a second. Okay. Puts them out of the fight. Really good players would do that against the damaged characters. In this case, it would be Telanus. Right. So if he does it right, Telanus would be out of the fight for about four or five seconds. And when she's back, it would be too late. And it. So we got Baldum probably roaming for Olympian, he'll be moving between lanes. Okay. Being protecting mainly the carry, whoever that will be. Anna on the other side will be protecting Telanus and roaming between lanes. Now Richter could also be a character for roaming, but they wouldn't leave Anna on a lane. So it'll probably be her. Hmm. So it sounds like they know what they're doing, is the the picture I get. It sounds like that even though these are uh, students at our school, they are quite adept at this game. They know what they're doing, they're strategizing, they're coming up with a plan. Yeah, yeah, it definitely looks like it. Okay. Um, yeah, it looks like they're specifically choosing players to counter each other. They're not immediately picking, they're taking their time, so they're, it looks like they're thinking about it for sure. Okay. Okay. So who was just banned? So they banned um, Kirknack, okay. an another jungler. Okay. They probably did that because the other team hasn't chosen a jungler yet. Okay. Kirknack is a very popular one at the moment, quite powerful. Now in um, ranking up to the, um, in diamond mode, only two characters are banned on each side. So it's interesting to see what they do when it's four on each side. Yeah. So yeah, they definitely know what they're doing because they chose Hayate specifically because the other team hasn't chose their carry yet. Mm -hmm. So taking out the options of the positions that they haven't chosen yet. Yeah, makes sense. So again, see, both of the two characters banned after are junglers, making giving the other team less choice. Okay. Nakroth is, is very powerful. Probably the most difficult character to kind of master though. Mm -hmm. It is very, kind of very agile. Um, he's, he basically can his skills are equivalent of Flicker, we can do it three times. Mm. We're gonna use Cephas. Um, I'm a little bit confused why they're choosing to heal, because Cephas would either be the jungler or offlane, but they already got Richter. Okay. So that's strange. Okay. So I'm guessing he'll change to um, a jungling 
skill. If not, I'd be very surprised. Mm. We got Murad on the other side. Used to be um, the meta a couple of seasons ago. He's still pretty good. Not a bad option. Um, it would be up to Murad and Airi. Oh, they changed to Zil, not going for Murad. Similar idea of a character, Zil and Murad. Um, can go in and out of fights easily. A good flanking kind of jungler. I'm wondering if Whisk will, will jungle since Scylla hasn't actually showed him yet. Mm -hmm. Red team's turn to pick. Okay, we got three characters <laughs> on Olympian here who have chosen a jungling skill. <laughs> Look at that. So we got a mage jungler, carry jungler, and actual assassin jungler. So okay. I have, I'm not sure what they're doing at the moment. Seems a bit strange to me, but a lot of these kids are much better than me, so maybe they, they've got a plan. Red team's turn on the other side, they're choosing L'Oreal, very popular mage. Um, I'm, I'm a bit s still waiting to see what will happen with these skills. Mm -hmm. Three jungler jungling skills, you see maybe two sometimes with them. Um, one of the all flame characters to use to kind of steal the abyssal dragon or steal the um, the bird um, creeps. Okay. Oh, looks like the game starts in one minute. Is that right? That is correct. Okay. So this is when they're going to be picking their. They're, there's they can swap around characters. Okay. So okay. So Baldum and Darcy just swap there. So Darcy will not be jungling. So that that clears up one. Okay. Now we're going to see between. Zill and Wasp. Okay, Wisp is out. So yeah. Oh, let's swap back. <laughs> They're all over the place. There, looks like it. Okay, now it makes sense though. We'll have Zill jungling for Olympian, Sophis jungling for Berserker. Um, the interesting fight will probably be be basically how they're going to protect Toanas mm -hmm. on Berserker's part Ten from both Irie and Sil, because those are both flank characters. They're basically made to take out carries like Toanas, who have less mobility. Mm -hmm. If they can protect Toanas, they've got a good chance, because she's going to deal a lot of damage from the back. Okay. Now it's time to check to see whose phone's got the best internet connection. <laughs> who gets there first? Wow, um, tent here is, I believe that's a symbol for um, high rank countrywide. Oh, wow. And um, safety, who, who's safety again? Uh, that was uh, safe. Safe, yeah. okay. So safe here, I think his that symbol means his um, region, no, not regional, provincial mm -hmm. ranked, that little green circle there. So that looks like a pretty good team. That... That tells a lot. They got two conquerors, three diamonds on their side. Is there a way we can see the rank on the other side? Mm -hmm. uh, looks like it's showing on the only the home side, I guess, Olympian. Okay. We'll probably see the next game though, right? I don't know. We'll see. Okay, center. We're just waiting on your internet connection. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> here. Shout out to chat. We can see a couple people in there talking. Uh, we can see Mr. Hannum. Hello. How are you doing, Mr. Hannum? Okay, so uh, looks like we got uh, a couple people moving mid. Yeah, so Baldum will be roaming. She's just He's just probably checking out the middle jungle, making sure they don't come in and steal mm -hmm. the blue buff from Syl. We see Irie also there. Um, Guarding the helping guard the blue buff. That's where Zoe's starting. Okay. And uh, Mr. Woody, at any point, if there's a certain part of the map you want me to go to, just let me know. Okay, sure thing. And I'm looking at the map mostly. Tent is just uh, clearing minions at top. Mm -hmm. Looking pretty standard. Okay. So this is this is an early game. They're not trying to they're not trying to win big team fights right now. It's mostly just about trying to maintain control over 
You're, um, really yes, stuff. but all the, <laughs> looks like Baldum's being a bit aggressive. Might have to go back for health early game already. Okay, yeah. Looks like he tried to um, use his skill to... He has a skill where he throws the opposite player over his back. Oh. Um, I think he tried to do that, but went too close to the tower and got attacked a little bit there. Okay, so we see a bit of a standoff at top there. They're not ready to engage quite yet. So go to the bottom there. I think there's a fight going on there, Zill. Oh. In the tower, oh, yep. Oh, my goodness. First blood. Oops. So, Zill is a very quick farm character. He's on level 4, and most of the time he starts on the blue buff. Mm -hmm. And in this case, the Abyssal Dragon's on the bottom lane, red buff. So, he ends his level 4 in the lane where the carries are. Okay. And that's good because the carries are the weakest, and they can take the first blood kill pretty easily against the carries. Okay. Cephas took the um, small dragon from buff hill. Okay. Looks like there's about to be a skirmish over the abyssal here. Yep. You see Baldum kind of guarding the tank up there. And down it goes. And still might oh, go here. I know. Oh, still okay, taken so out by Talanus. Was it worth was it worth his life to take the Abyssal Dragon? Is the question. I would say no. Okay. Yeah, I, that was a bit of a risky move. Almost lost two. I guess losing one is not that bad since they got first blood and mm -hmm. they do get the dragon. Mm -hmm. Well, um, Wiss here might have to be a little bit careful. Yeah. So this can jump right on him like yep. that. Mm, there it is. Oh no! You hate to see it. <laughs> yep. That's what I expected to happen right okay. there. So they're about to lose bot tower. No, no? still is back, bottom's back. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna okay. protect it. Okay. Alright. Okay. It started off looking like um, Olympian would take the upper hand, but it's like that fight at Abyssal Dragon oh. in the bottom lane kind of switch it in okay. Berserker's favor there. Okay, so right now it's... What it, what it what do you think Olympia needs to do right now? They they took the dragon, but they lost somebody. What should be their next step? They gotta be patient. Um, I think they should avoid keen fights. Okay. And as long as they keep Tel Anas from um, gaining a lot of gold, gaining items, they should limit. They should be able to limit the opposition's um, damage. Okay. And if they wait for late game, um, characters like Darcy, like Wiss should be able to do much better. Okay, now for the, the folks at home that maybe aren't familiar with ROV and have no idea what they're watching right now, it's uh, two teams of five per side. Uh, there's going to be three lanes on the map. There's a top lane, a middle lane, and a bottom lane, often called bot lane. Uh, this is a big team skirmish that's yeah. going on right here. Okay, so we've lost Rush one Olympian. Here. And lost still there. Okay. So so just, like try yeah. to take out Tent. He, he should be okay. Irie has a... Yeah. Yep. He's got his move. He takes his health. Okay, so he, he managed to survive. They don't look too coordinated at the moment, Olympian. Yeah. Baldum is going in before Zill is ready. Baldum should should be the one opening the fight, but he, Zill basically needs to follow him right after he opens the fight. Okay. That did not happen, so that left time for the other team to basically take down the, um, Baldum's health, the other team's tank's health. Wish there lost the fight against Telana, so this is not looking good, because Telana is getting a couple kills in already, getting some items up. <laughs> Taking out the dragon. Yeah, that, this, this is not looking good for um, Olympian okay. at the moment. Okay, he's there to get the buff. Sage Golem is blue buff, correct? Correct. Okay. So okay. Cephas needs to keep getting a Sage Golem if he wants to stay in fights, not having to go back, because he's a character that uses. Um, mana power, the blue tab down there under his health. Right. He needs that for his skills. He gets that from the Sage Golem. Okay. Yeah, ba Baldum is, is kind of not doing too well there. That's alright. And that is that is actually their team captain as well. That is, um, <laughs> that is PK. PK. Okay, well, hopefully he's, he's, he's a late game player. That's, that's his strength, right? Okay. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, looks like I'm about to take out this tower. A blue team tower has been destroyed. Yeah, they're putting the pressure on. They're moving as a team. Mm -hmm. You can see here, they're, um, after they take over the bottom tower, now they got pressure in the bottom jungle. Yeah. 
If they keep this going, they should be fine. Irie just needs to um, avoid direct fight with Richter up top and just maintain his distance, keep his tower protected, and they've, they've got the advantage. Oh. Yeah, okay, it looks like they're about to lose mid tower. Goodbye. They are. They're working as a team here. They're yeah. all moving together. They know. They know who's supposed to help who. Yeah. They. They. They've definitely moved into the mid game mindset yeah. where it's time to move as a team and capture some objectives, so to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Poor Tense all by himself up here <laughs> until Safe comes to get him. Yeah. Okay. So they're trying to. It looks like they're just trying to maybe get some gold. That's that's it. That's trying to catch up on the goal a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they're five thousand behind, four thousand mm -hmm. behind. Mm -hmm. That's that's tough. And this this is early game. It's a six seven minute yeah. game. So so here's Dragon again. They might be trying to capture that very good objective if you're trying to earn, earn some gold and yeah. out experience your enemies, out level mm -hmm. them. Yeah, they're gonna need um. They're gonna need a win to win a good team fight to kind of have a chance to come back here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's oh, okay. Yeah. Good save from Bounder, but he's not gonna make that. Yeah. He basically sacrificed himself for Wiss there. Wiss was kind of a little extended there. Mm, okay. The carry should never really be in f like further ahead of the tank. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so they won the fight. They're gonna take out the dragon. Mm -hmm. Like this looks routine for them. They're yeah. Following the basic kind of movements, moving together as a team. Once they take out one or two, take the dragon. They got the advantage. Mm -hmm. Keep pushing. They already got two lanes. They're probably gonna try and push top together soon. Okay. Ten's been doing a pretty good job clearing out the creeps and doing his best to keep the tower. Uh oh, don't get so oh no, he was found. Okay, so he's his job is to escape right now, but it looks like they're gonna let him go. Yeah, they wouldn't wanna chase after because from their perspective they don't see what we see. Yeah. Losing the middle and bottom tower means they lose kind of um, sight of what's going on as well. Yeah. So they have no idea who else would have been there. Bot tower gone. Mm -hmm. okay. So you'll see them not go out further really than the second tower here in the middle and bottom because they don't know what's out there. And they're taking out Spirit Sentinel. Goodbye. Are they about to try to take the Dark Slayer? No. Probably not. Not at this point. They'll probably start trying that maybe level later, level 13. If the whole team's ready, maybe level 12, something like that. Makes sense. For those of you unaware, uh, on the blue here on the left, this is Olympian, and on the right, in the red, is Berserker. At the moment, it's it's Berserker's game to lose. Yeah. 12 to 2 kills and two towers, three towers down already. Yeah, Berserker is really definitely proving to be the better team, at least for this particular game. Mm -hmm. Now remember, this is a best two out of three set, so even if Olympian loses this first game, they can always come back and sweep with two victories to take the day. Yep. That's the fourth tower down. And there they are, they're, they're after Dark Slayer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why is Dark Slayer important? Why is this a big deal? Dark Slayer gives the whole team a buff, okay. gives them some gold, um, so they, they get strength buff, they do more damage. Um, I don't actually know the whole details. Mm -hmm. Another thing is they can also summon a dragon, which is basically like a giant extra creep that can help them mainly destroy towers, because they shoot from a range that the towers can't shoot at them. Right. So it forces the other team to come out and s try to stop the dragon, which leaves them exposed to your team attacking them here. Yeah. They've summoned the Drake. There's the Drake, as you can see. It'll be making its way down mid lane as they continue this push. Yeah. At the moment, what they're not doing too well on the Olympian side is they're not getting to Telanos. Because she can do damage from a long distance. See, she's shooting a tower right now with yeah. her first skill. It's very powerful. But she's very, very weak in terms of health. Okay. So Irie and Sil need to get in there, but also the other team are doing so well of protecting her. Right. So it's not easy. Oh, oh. oh. That was a very risky move. Mm -hmm. They sort of see they're kind of getting desperate. Yeah, they are in the base. I mean, this is as, as far back they can, they can retreat, so they kind of have to engage. Yeah. But a lot of these players are low right now, so... They're going for it, because the other team only has one yeah. left. Okay, and that's it. 
that's it. House Berserker takes the first victory. The first game, the first point. That was very well played. Yeah, congratulations to House Berserker. Olympian got the first kill, but the game changed when they went for the Abyssal Dragon. Hmm. All right, and we see MVP. Yep, Boo. Boo. So the key character, like I said, Telanus, mm -hmm. was always going to do the most damage if um, the flankers, if Irie, if Zild could not get to her. And they tried to pick characters to counter her, but <coughs> excuse me, but Berserker did a good job protecting their carry character. Okay, folks, and we will set up the lobby for the next game, and we will be right back. when it ends anyway. Uh, you have to start anyway. Why are you yelling at me when it's preparing? Oh, it wasn't here. Or, oh, no, no, what I was saying was those were missing. Or, what I was showing you was that, um... Okay, and we are back with the second game. As you can see, uh, Berserker has one point up on the scoreboard in the top right. Okay. Thanks for our viewers. We had um, some details sent in for us about the Dark Slayer buff. It um, rejuvenates health and mana by 1% per second, including 20% speed increase for 9 seconds. And... And that's about it. Okay. Okay. So, are they trying to ban? Okay. They were, looked like they were on the Toro ban. And I was like, do they need to ban Toro? Is anybody going to play him? <laughs> Probably not. No, no, Toro's okay. kind of like a, a joke character. I've rarely seen him um, played in rank. Right. E even, yeah, even normal matches, people, quick matches, I rarely see him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's actually, I don't know, I quite like him because he's super, super strong in terms of health okay. like it sometimes seems impossible to kill him but the problem is he does tiny damage yeah he does nothing so in most matches you could pretty much ignore him and kill everybody <laughs> else <laughs> and you'd just be there yeah so he's seeing the um, similar bands okay um, we see Veras, Safira, Florentino and Hayate 
Ah, Elsu. This is gonna be an interesting match. Elsu is extremely OP. Okay. Looks like he can't decide between Elsu and Telana. Telana's standard. Um, people are usually better at her because she's not banned usually mm. in rank, so they have more chance to play her. Elsu is banned pretty much 99% of the time. Okay. There's um, rumors about the next patch in Taiwan. They're talking about um, really nerfing Elsu. Okay. I think they've already um, nerfed him in the latest patch. So usually Taiwan's patches come out a month or so before Thailand. Mm. So that's probably what's going to happen in Thai patch as well. It's like they're going for Elsu. Wow. He's a great, great character. His only flaw, in my opinion, is his um, attack speed is very slow. Mm -hmm. And most of most of the time, we rely on carries to take down towers quickly. So that's the only really flaw he has. But he does so much damage. He's got skills that can get him out of fights, which are uncommon for most carry characters. Okay. I'm just now noticing that, in fact, we have uh, Berserker on the left and Olympian on the right. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and update the the thing up here. We're gonna get those swapped around. And oh, for some reason that says match two. This is definitely still match one. All right. Looks like they're gonna go for Darcy again. Okay. Darcy is a great character. Um, again, I think he's more effective late games. So the last game, he didn't really have a chance because they were basically. <laughs> Losing from the beginning, if we're being really honest. Mm -hmm. There we go. Updated. This this always tends to be the slowest part of any of these games. It's just waiting for everybody to decide who to ban. Yeah, it'd be interesting if we could hear what the players were talking about. Yeah. Um, that would give us a really good indication of their logic behind choosing the characters. I can sort of like guess some of it, but yeah. not always, it depends really. Got Darcy and Richter, very, very common characters. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're pretty good. Annet, again on this other side here, Wukong. Okay. We have Bowman, a new character for this game. Bowman usually goes on his own off lane. Um, or the Dark Slayer lane. He's a, he's a decent character. He's just, one of his skills basically pins down the enemy in place. It's a very good counter for more mobile kind of characters. Okay. It pins them in place for a while, which allows your team to focus that character, basically. When he first came out, um, people liked to play Superman or, <laughs> or really mobile characters like Macroth. Mm -hmm. Couldn't really get a hang out of <laughs> like anything against him because they'll just be pinned down and basically become useless. Yeah. Used to be a meta maybe a couple of um, seasons ago as well. Mm -hmm. He's nerfed not too much, but for some reason it hasn't become so popular. Also because there's a lot of new really good mages like DRC or Sephira that are just maybe easier to play with. Okay. Um, Freda is pretty good for longer range attacks. One of his skills pretty much close to the end of the screen if you're playing on your phone. And the longer he charges, the more powerful it is. Mm. But that might be a disadvantage against Elsu. Because if you're standing still long enough, Elsu can as a skill where he snipes you. Mm -hmm. Very powerful. So when I'm playing against Elsu, I do my best to never stand still. Mm. We got 40 viewers, so. Good evening, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed the first round. We'll see what happens this round. Feel free to send us.
comments or send support to the, to the players on the stream. To the house you're supporting. Yeah. Shout out to any Titans viewers out there. Good luck tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So here they gotta think about who they want for a jungling character and who they want for their mage and mid lane. Arrow is a okay. This is a band. Arrow's a very, very popular one as well. It's super annoying for melee characters. She has a skill where she um, basically sucks your blood, mm. vampire skill, um, for anyone who's near her. Mm. So you basically can't kill her if you're a melee. Mm. Look at that foaming glass of root beer. So delicious looking. <laughs> this is, of course, a school stream. Delicious, foamy soda. This, soda pop. Yep. <laughs> This is a very kind of weird character, actually. I think it's three different little animals in the same armor. <laughs> it's just three people stacked on top of each other. It's not really a full well, person. I, it's not a person. It's like a raccoon. Yeah. <laughs> I, oh, I can see the one at the yeah. bottom sticking out, trying to uh, get at the, at the mug. Yep. A pretty cool teamy. Uh, it's hard to play. He's hard to play, but mm -hmm. he or she, actually, I don't know. Um, this character's ultimate. If they click at the correct time, right before their friend dies, mm -hmm. their friend will basically respawn. Oh wow! Yeah, so that is really powerful. That is really powerful. They don't respawn full health, I don't think, but it's it's still a big, big um, help for the team. <clears throat> yeah, that makes sense. But it's very hard to time. Um, I tried to playing the character a little bit, um, but didn't have too much success. If I'm being honest. Mm. I, I see the name Teamy and I think of when you open ROV and it's that yeah. little high pitched Teamy. Yeah. I'm wondering if they're, they simply name the character after the company that is supporting their game. Um, I think the character came out before. Maybe Team was all, always supporting the game, but they used, they did not used to be on the opening <laughs> okay. screen. That's actually quite new. This character is older now. Okay. So again, they're gonna, probably going to swap players around or something. So we you see here, on, um, who's on the left again? Uh, this is uh, Berserker on left. Yeah, so they got four characters on Flicker and one on Heal. Okay. So that doesn't make too much sense at the moment. They can change that though, yes, right? Yes, okay. they can change that any time before the game begins. So if I'm guessing, so this will, will definitely be the jungler. Okay. It's gonna be changing. On the other side, however, it looks like they might go for a carry character jungling violet okay sure very common for competitions very difficult to play in my opinion what's the advantage of playing uh, a carry as a jungler well they do a, a lot of damage and their range okay so they if they're flanking the other team um, and their positioning is good they can take out the other team much quicker with a carry, a carry um, jungler it looks like they didn't go for it in the end. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. Yorn, they picked Yorn, but Yorn's ha um, going for Flicker, so he's going to be in the Abyssal Dragon lane, probably. Okay. okay. DRC is jungling, which I think is a good choice. DRC needs kind of like maybe the third big item before he becomes kind of more powerful. Okay. So jungling's a good choice there. Okay. This should be interesting. Yeah. We got Elsu on one side, DRC on the other. These are characters you don't usually see in competitions or ranks because they're usually banned. Okay. So let's see how this goes. Looks like the game is about to begin. Now we get to see the rank on this side. Oh, that's right. Three Conquerors. I think it was two on the other side. Mm -hmm. So for this season, slightly higher ranked, but none of them I think are um, shown to be country or province level, level okay. ranked. But that could also just be because they didn't sign up. You have to kind of sign up for it. Oh, okay. They, they call that um, Glorious Ruler? Is that the name? That's that's the higher rank from um, Conquer. I was talking about the little circle green thing Okay. next to their skills. It will show if you are registered to a province and you're top maybe 50 or something. Okay. So it'll be around green circle. The other one was orange or something. That's if you're top in the country. 
Mm. So one on the other team was top in the country. Wow. So that's that's pretty rare. Yeah. It may have been region. Um, there's province, region, country. I don't remember the symbols. Okay. You see the green one quite often because some people sign up to provinces where nobody really plays. So it's uh, quite easy to get there. But region and country is, is a pretty big deal. So you can see that a lot of our students are quite quite serious about games. Indeed. Indeed. Okay, we will hide this for get now. Ready. Okay, so let's see where they decide to go. Seconds. And it roaming on this side here. This is Berserker. Um, Liliana will definitely go mid lane as the mage. Okay. Um, Elsu and... And, and it will be roaming, else it will be going Abyssal Dragon. Okay. They're kind of, you, you can see again, they're supporting each other from the beginning of the game. Yeah. And like sort of moving together before they go to the lane. Uh, this is something you see higher level players do. Um, they're not totally following the book, because technically they should all go to their lanes and protect their towers. Right. But they know that it takes up to about a minute before the other side can clear out the creeps. Right. If they group up in a certain place, they could gain a lot of advantage for one lane first. Because hmm. it's not like they're going to destroy or damage the tower that much on level 1 or 2 anyway. Right, right. I see both both safety and center planted safe up here at top. Mm -hmm. Is there really an advantage to killing the, the, the bird here? Absolutely. Okay. Um, it sends out like a... I don't know what you would call it, like a beacon, mm -hmm. beacon, and it gives you um, sight in the other side's jungle. If you know, so um, Anit on this side and Timmy on the other side are roamers. They do a similar, similar job to the birds. Okay. So when they can, you want them to go search the the, the bushes oh. on the other side's jungle. Ooh, that, that was, was the first one. Very close to the first blood of the match. Yep. They're moving together so well, this team. Oh, oh, so, oh that was such a close shot. So Yorn, Yorn knows what else is all about. You can see him walking yeah. all around, trying to make it hard to predict, but he might not survive this one. Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah. First blood. Goodbye, Yorn. They're very aggressive, but they're aggressive together. If one player was pushing this high, that'd be very risky. Mm -hmm. But since there's all three of them, they, they can push the other side back. Now, DRC and Preta are both in the middle there when their friends were three on two on the bottom. Mm. Now, this, this is a bit late. He's coming into support now. Yeah. But maybe he's, maybe he's watching the stream on the one minute delay. <laughs> oh, my friends need help. Right, it's, it's four on two now on the bottom. I guess Yorn is coming. But yeah, it might be a little too late. Mm -hmm. Praetar in the middle there should be helping as well. Because Liliana's not in the middle anymore. Yeah. So there's no point in him staying there. The creeps can take care of each other. I, I, I noticed this recall, but mm -hmm. he had like 75% health. So it might have been because he needed more of the um, mana, uh, special power to blue. If if your if your creeps are pushed high enough and you need to go back to mana, it's, it's a good choice. Because yeah. else you're just standing around waiting for the creeps to come further enough for you to continue pushing. So they just they just took out a Bizzle Dragon. Mm -hmm. So it looks like Olympian's actually a little bit ahead on gold right now. I guess it's maybe still pretty early. Yeah. Like, uh, uh oh. Run! You start to see the real difference after like one or two group fights. Yeah. The bottom tower is nearly out. They're yeah. pressing. Praetor really does need to come help at the bottom tower. He's, he's coming now, but the timing's not great. Yeah, okay. Uh, he, he didn't even bother in the end. He came halfway and went back. Okay, well, it looks like. Uh oh. Uh oh. So you saw that um, the green kind of splash he did? Yeah. That's one of his skills where he stuns the enemy. And the other green that goes around at their foot is shows that if they die, they would respawn. That's why they didn't attack the enemy. It was so low on health. Mm. They're waiting for it to be gone, and, and then they can get
They're playing so well. Yeah, they know how to protect. <laughs> Look at them moving together. It's like, you can't pick any of them off if they're moving like this. Yeah. Again, they, the other side really need to take out Elsu if they want to have a chance, because he's doing the damage from long distance there. But they can't, because look at the way they move. Anit is always four or five kind of, let's say, steps in front of him, mm -hmm. in front of Elsu, but they can't get to him. Center hiding in a bush. We see the same, this is the same as the last game. Off lane, kind of just um, safe, paying it safe, keeping the keeping their towers safe, mm. not really pushing too aggressively. What, what can you make from the items we can see here at the bottom? Let's see. It looks like Berserker is about to take this dragon. Well, um, Good job. I mean, I'm a little bit surprised. I thought more of them would be going for Magic defense items. Okay. Because the jungler on the other side is based on magic attack, Darcy. Mm. So they've pretty much got two mages on the other side, which most scenes usually have one. Mm. So having like one um, magic defense item may help. But they're not. They don't seem too worried about that. Mm. <laughs> you see, um, the boots that Annette and Liliana have. Those are magic defense boots. Okay. Cephas go. Cephas and Omen have a physical defense boot. Defense boot. Boot. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, for Omen, that makes sense. He's just going up against Richter all day long. No, there's a, there's five of them. Oh no, this is still four v four. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that was a big hit. That is why everybody advanced Elsu. From that far away, he can do that much wow, damage. Yeah, that's a lot. I mean, it's a little bit difficult to aim. Uh -oh, you uh -oh. have to be pretty good at the character, but looks like Tarzan here needs to really cool his jets. <laughs> oh, and they're about to take a tower. Goodbye. Tower's out. Goodbye, tower. I think really the players are, that is making it easy for the team is is Anna here. Yeah. Who's who's playing Anna? Um, you can see on the sides here. Mm, I don't remember. Line ID, heart square line <laughs> star. Well, whoever it is, he's doing a very good job protecting his team. Yeah. And Anna's skills, if you know how to play, is really annoying. And there was Yorn. Oh, can you save the next tower? Goodbye, tower. Wow. Yeah, Berserker is really not uh, not showing much mercy. Not at all. They're pretty, pretty relentless here. Now, okay, that's that's so. Last game they managed to keep the. Um, off lane battle pretty equal, mm. but now Richter just took out Omen, so it's every lane is at a disadvantage. Oh, here comes Boo, is he gonna steal the dragon? Oh, oh he's a little he's too late. late. That was a good try, though, good try. Okay, looks like we're about to have a s little skirmish here next to Dark Slayer. Oh, no. Right. Now run before the Dark Slayer kills you. <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me. Yeah, you should not be taking that 1v3. Not quite sure. A little too late. A little too late. That's okay. Richter's doing well. Mm -hmm. So maybe if Richter can take out that top tower, but Omen's coming. Give them a little bit of breathing space. Mm -hmm. That's good. They're starting to move together a little bit more. On um, Olympian side. Yeah, on the red side here. So the, it's not terribly unequal right now. Still 6v4. We're already nine minutes into the game. This one's a little bit slower than the last game. Yep. The common saying in this game is it's all about the towers. So yeah. Two down there. Yeah, they're, they're a little bit behind. Um, I've lost plenty of games where I had more kills, more gold, but nobody was taking the towers. Mm hmm. Richter is a very interesting character. So okay. He has a skill that changes depending on where he is. Okay. So if he's in the jungle, his sword will glow a separate color. If you see him as he walks onto the lake, yeah, you'll see a blue tab under his. Um, if he has to walk off it and back on. 
you'll see a blue tab fill under his health. He okay. builds up a different skill depending on where he's standing. So that's huh. a green one, yellow. yellow. Yellow's land, green is jungle. Interesting. And blue is water, Very which is insane. Yep. And the different skills do different things. Mm. Okay, 10 seconds of the Abyssal Dragon respawns. Let's go out there and look at the battle up top. Oh my goodness. Oh! Okay, it's two on one. I think if it wasn't, we could have taken them open. Mm. We're getting a skirmish. Oh no. Goodbye, Galaxia. No, he's fine. He's got. Yep. That's okay. his ultimate. His ultimate can be used to start a fight or run away. Interesting. Looks like they're not going to go for the dragon right now. Ooh. That, of course, was their team captain, PK, taken out. And goodbye, would have. That's right, what if this is a school stream? Okay, so they're gonna take Dragon. Mm -hmm. This is the point where they can also just go and take Dark Slayer if they'd like to, right? No, 13, 14, sure. Yeah. And there's two of the other team out, so they wouldn't have too much resistance. They could have. Uh, they're probably not gonna try now because the, yeah, the other team's respawning. Yeah. Few seconds, so they're all back. Okay. No. Oh, wow, that was a lot of damage. You see Darcy's skill there. If he puts in a play um, around the opponent, even though they run away, a few seconds later they're basically recalled back to that point. Okay. It's um, quite interesting. Yeah, there's four of them forming up here. I think they might be trying for a, a real push. Maybe. Maybe. Well, there's enough here that they could... Oh, no, 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 okay. It looks like uh, Berserker is rallying here. We got a lot of them all together. Yeah. They're pushing into jungle here. They're pushing into bot jungle. Mm -hmm. What are they trying to accomplish, you think? They're trying to take the creeps, the jungle creeps, from the other side. So okay. if they take these buffs enough times, they'll... So there's an item for the jungling characters. Right. And it builds up statistics based on how many jungle creeps they kill. Okay. So if the other team takes out all their jungle creeps, they don't get to get up that stat and mm. they don't become more powerful. So if we look at the items, so for example here, Cephas has the X, the first item. Sure. The stats he builds up from killing the creeps gives him more defense stat, more armor, more health. While on the other side, Darcy's um, first item, the kind of golden sword, yeah. that builds up magic power. Magic Red attack. Team tower has been destroyed. Lost another tower. No, we can't see it, but on their screen there'll be a small number next to their item, which tells them tells them how many basic stats they build up. But I'm willing to bet that it's not very high for Darcy at the moment. Mm. In comparison to um, set this mm. now, now you see, this is what I was talking about before. You see that golden ball almost everybody on Berserker has yeah. an item? Yeah. That's magic defense. Okay. Because the other side has two mages, including one of them is the jungler. So if you can put up, build up a lot of magic defense against the jungler, you can't do much damage. Okay. And goodbye. A red team tower has been destroyed. Pretty much the same story. Hmm. Compared to the last round. I'm gonna farm a little bit more gold. So he's at level 15. So mm -hmm. his main his main goal is just gold, right? Yep. Okay. He's almost got his last item, so okay. he probably won't be farming too much. We're going for Dark Slayer right now. Looks like they're gonna make quick work of it. Even if even if Olympian wanted to do something about it, they're just too far away. They're gonna get killed before he's done. Yeah, they're too far away and they're probably not gonna win a team fight at this point. Yeah. Like if we look at the other side, their Rome is level twelve, mm -hmm. their carry is level thirteen. Mm -hmm. Their items not that high at all. Freyta only has four of the main items. It's it's a tough game at this point for um, Olympian. What does Olympian need to do to pull this back? How do they win this? 
Um, they gotta wait for a mistake, really. Okay. They gotta wait for El Su to be out of position, take him out first, then maybe they can get him to the fight. It's gonna be really tough, though. Yeah. Look at that. You see that, that shot from El Su? Yeah, my goodness. It's so powerful. Okay. They are in base. Okay, but it looks like they were. Oh, oh no. Alright. Goodbye, Teamy. <laughs> it's tough, dude. Taking out the tower. Yeah. Okay, so. Looks like they're not really going for the main tower quite yet. No. They're kind of some, yeah, fights. Oh. Okay, they're down one. A red team tower has been destroyed. Do they call for a retreat at this point? Yeah, a lot of them are held about middle or under. They're just probably gonna keep clearing the creeps, keep the, their creeps up in the other team's face. Team tower has been destroyed. Got a little bit of farming going. No towers left now. Circuit didn't even lose one tower. Wow. All right, looks like they're gonna take out the dragon. Now, at this point, is this just bad manners? Are they just styling <laughs> on Olympian at this point? Um, pretty, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, they're all they all respawn. I mean, they have Anna and Liliana who don't have their full items yet. Okay. But yeah, I guess it's just to be safe. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. There's no harm in getting farther ahead. Nope. Right. Especially if you know, like, you can't march in and, and win. Uh-oh. Okay, so there's a bit of a... This is their chance right now. If they yeah. can win this fight. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Which okay. they got it. So... Yeah. Okay, so now what is their job? How do they How do they capitalize on this? Well, the problem is they can't really do too much right now because they still got to go back and defend. Against his minions. Yes, because they destroyed all the towers, which means the minions okay. are super creeps. So he's going for this tower, but they know yeah. they're, they're going to go protect it. Yeah, it's they got they got to win some something like that maybe two or three times more. Yeah. If they're going to turn this game around. When, now was that a mistake on Berserker's part being split up like that? Yes. Okay. They probably figured cuz remember they don't see yeah. specifically what the other side's doing. So they probably figured the other teams were spread out between the lanes defending. Yeah. No. Oh, oh no. They, they might be okay here. It's five against yeah. three. Yep. Because they knew the other person. They didn't have the response back yet. Yep. So they but need Seth to. This is here, so they gotta be careful. They need to heal up a little bit. Okay. What is their plan here? Yeah, I was about oh. to say they gotta protect Darcy. Mm, no. Uh oh. <laughs> Goodbye. What a. Yeah. Alright, well. At this point. Cephas is pretty powerful. So. Yeah, it's hard to break. Okay. Early in that fight when he wasn't there, it seemed pretty even, but once he came, this might be it. It's three against two. Yeah. It's all three the tower. So yeah, they, at this point, they don't even have to go ah. the opposition. Just destroy the tower. And there it is. Another victory for Team Berserker. Very well played. Yeah. And it, I think, is is the key here. Like, whoever was playing that character defended the team very well, positioned themselves very well. Yeah. All right. What, what did you see from this team? Why do you think Berserker was just so victorious all the time in these fights. It looks like, honestly, it looks like they've been playing with each other for quite a while. Okay, just practice. Yeah, because the way they were moving around, it looks like the communication was basically spot on. Okay. Um, they were, it's not like if you see teams that don't play with each other often, you see somebody prepare for a fight before telling the others to come help them, for example. But okay. here you see them, as soon as one's on the way to the fight, the others are gathering. Okay. So when the fight starts, they're all there already. Okay. 
Yeah. So you see the exact opposite on the other side. Quite a couple of times, you see Liliana from mid lane going mm -hmm. bot for um, Berserker, mm -hmm. but Preta waits until the fight starts before they go move down to the bot to help their team, which okay. is too late. Okay. Yeah, that's that's mainly it. They're moving as a team. Mm -hmm. All right. As always, teamwork wins in a team-based competitive game. <laughs> Who would have guessed? All right, everybody. So as you can see. This was a, another victory for House Berserker. If you caught the Overwatch match on Saturday, Berserker was also the victor, um, basically carried their entire time by the McCree. Uh, so we thank you for joining us. That was a fantastic match. We want to remind you of the schedule for this week. Uh, you just watched Berserker versus Olympian. Uh, tomorrow is going to be Phoenix versus Titan. Same time, 7 p.m. 7 p.m., excuse me. Wednesday the 27th, we're gonna have the consolation match, otherwise known as the third place match. So Olympian's going to be playing whoever loses tomorrow's game. And then on Thursday uh, the 28th, we're gonna see the finals match. It's gonna be Berserker versus whoever wins tomorrow's game. And the winner of all these matches gets 1,000 house points. The team who comes in second gets 800 points. The team in third, which would be the winner of the consolation match, will get 600 points and the team in fourth place will get 400 points. So we thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the stream. We'll see you again tomorrow at 7 p.m. for Phoenix versus Titan. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a good evening. Thank you very much, folks. Goodbye.